We're gonna learn how to make some cool looking iridescent materials in Blender quickly. This technique is much easier than you might think. We basically only need two things. A suitable picture that we use as the environment and a model with a chrome or metal material. Let me show you how it's done. Now in Blender we just need to add our object or model that we like. I'm just going to delete the default cube and import a statue that I found on the internet. The next part we're going to do is create a material for it. That's fairly simple. You just open a new shader editor. Now just select your object and here in the shader editor just increase the metallic slider to one so it has a metal material okay this will be enough for the sake of our tutorial but i'm going to use a different material one that i made earlier it's a little bit more of an advanced and complex metal material but if you like to see it how it's done we have a tutorial on it on our channel this one offers a little bit more detail than the basic one as you can see, it has some patches of roughness and use and wear, which the normal one doesn't. I think it makes it look a little bit more realistic. So if you want to go and check it out, you can find it on our channel. The next thing we need to do is go from object to world in this tab. Now we can change the background of our scene. We just press shift A and then add an environment texture. Add it here and connect it to the color. If we go into the rendered view, you see everything is pink. That's why we haven't connected anything yet. Now comes the fun part. All it basically needs is a simple image as a background. Let me open one to show you how it looks. We are just gonna choose one of these pictures and add them into our scene. And as you can see, the metal material look like, looks like it's iridescent and I think it looks very nice. I like to change my renderer to cycles, but this also works in Eevee, but I like cycles a little bit more. Then you can play around with the strength and see how it influences your image. And this technique works literally with every picture you can find on the internet. I have, thought, uh, I have found that some abstract art, uh, very colorful pictures work the best. Here are some examples of the pictures I used and how they influence our material. I basically get all my pictures from Unsplash. Just open Unsplash and search for abstract color. And just like that you have uh, a lot of pictures that you can use for this technique and they are all free to use, which is awesome. Be very careful if you take pictures from the internet because they might be copyrighted and you are not allowed to use those. What I often find when using this technique is that the background is a little bit too harsh. For that, I'm just gonna go into the camera view, position the camera how I want it, and then go into the camera tab and use depth of field. With that, I can dial in the focus of my camera. Then you can also adjust the f-stop a little bit to make the background more blurry. I think that's um, a very important part because else the background looks very harsh. Okay, one thing that might bother you um, when using this technique is that the background is too colorful or you just want a different one, like a black background or whatever. This can be solved very easily um, with a simple technique. We have a tutorial on this on our channel or I will leave the link to the video in the description. You can watch it there, it only takes two minutes and I think it's a very useful technique, especially for things like this. Right now you basically can do whatever you want. You can change the material um, of your statue, you can increase or decrease the roughness and everything to get a different effect. All of that also works in Eevee and I think it looks pretty cool. And as you can see, if I increase the roughness, it gets a little bit different. But yeah, I think it's an awesome technique. Just try out different pictures and images and you will get a million different results. For example, if I just change the background image to something else, for example, I can take this one 
uh, the whole image looks so much different, but it always looks pretty cool. It's a very simple and very easy technique and I think the results are amazing right off the bat. And for every different picture you choose, you get a different result. And so I think it's uh, very versatile and very cool to play around with this. I had a lot of fun creating this tutorial and also creating the renders. Uh, I hope you do too. And if you have any kind of question or feedback, just leave a comment, we would be very happy to hear it. If you like the tutorials, consider subscribing. We're gonna do a lot more in the future and we would be very happy to have you on board. Yeah, and also if you wanna share your work, as always, you can send it to us on Instagram or tag us in your post. We would very much like to see it. Okay, thank you for watching. See you next time.